Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Master of Orion Conquer the Stars with me, Get Daved. I guess we keep building the war fleet. Oh, you know what? There's a couple things that would be nice to get done here. And by a couple, I actually meant just the one. I think we'll crank out a couple Stockhausens just to get a, a balanced fleet here. It's good to have a variety of shapes and sizes. We support all ship types in this empire. Medium, rich, ultra, or wow. I can't talk, but this is a good place. Better than when I'm, where I'm currently building ships actually, so. With the only catch that we need to worry about pollution. There we go. Excel. Oh. Well, I was about to say Excelsior, but then something bad happened. Hmm. Uh, I'm going to try the Pulsar, which I did not care for in the previous game. Which was Orion 2, not 3. But uh, I'm willing to take it out for a stroll. Also, I didn't realize we have a fully upgraded Esper. Hmm. Let's see what we can do about this thing. We're still a little over. It's my only torpedo boat, so I'm a little reluctant. <sighs> We're already pushing this as far as we can. All right. And we'll put on a point defense phaser, a lone point defense phaser. So, you know, it can get in a shootout with a fighter if need be. Research continues as expected. All right, what do we got? Four steps to go, and now I'm getting interested in the overall price to research these things. All right. It's going to take a few turns, everybody. Hmm. Tundra? Gradual improvement? There we go. We'll set them up like that, and uh, we'll have a nice glow growing population. Glowing population. Hmm. I'm starting to think we might have to deal with all of the enemy spies. Oh, uh... Why can't I scrap them? We might have to send them to a star system that has a star base or something like that.
The two destroyers over here, I think we just scrap. And hopefully we pick the right ones, we'll find out. Yay! What a waste. Oh well, we'll have them doing the, the right thing when we get back. There we go. Yeah, we could do like more efficient things, but it involves more micro and secretly, uh, they hit me where it hurts, I'm not gonna lie. Hmm. I guess you guys turn to trade goods. You know what? We're actually going to have them just make us a ton of money. That's your new role. The nice thing is that spying provides a nice counter to, uh, I guess I'll colonize, uh, having a large empire because you become less able to protect yourself. It's a, it's a nice touch. Adds some natural balance to the game. Yeah, we'll keep them on that for now. And we need about 12,000, 16,000 research or so. So, I mean, that's 32 turns. That's actually not too bad. I mean, that was another one just now. It is seldom that I am proven wrong. Unfortunately, it is even more rare when I actually am wrong. Uh huh. Oh, okay, so they're upset about that. I suppose it's understandable. Hmm. Well, what are you going to do about it, hey? Hmm. They have a bigger, meaner fleet than I do. Gonna need a lot more money before we can finish the upgrades there. We're gonna need to finish the upgrades there though to have uh, the enough or enough firepower. I'm gonna send one more up there as well. Uh, one person brought up that it might be worthwhile to have a network of jump gates. Uh, we're already crossing over one of the bigger areas, but uh, we might get some good value out of having a couple more. I'm probably not going to do that, but you know, it's something to think about. Uh, the game's essentially in the bag right now, so... Wait, what do we got here? Medium guy or rich? Hmm... A good all-around planet. These are wasted. I think it's in a pretty good situation to just become a research colony. It doesn't have the university because that's on a different planet, but, uh, that's okay. 
we're going to be primarily becoming a research empire in the somewhat near future. You know, until we get onto our main hobby. I'll just call it that. Plasma physics is going to unlock, I think, plasma we offer this freely with one hand. Decline. They want to know my secrets, and I'm not going to tell. Hmm. It sounds like plasma web would be an Our interesting weapon, but we actually use torpedoes. Seems reasonable. Research continues as expected. There we go. Expensive, but uh, it can hit a slow moving, moving ship really well, so that ain't nothing. There we go. Those upgrades have pushed us over an important ledge. Like the good kind of pushing someone over a ledge though. What a lovely planet we have here. And at max population. There we go. Even with that espionage hitting one of my main research colonies, we're still doing pretty well for ourselves. Yay, famine. I'm actually going to scratch the weather controller. Uh, in general, I really think subterranean farms are a lot superior, actually. Actually, that gives me an idea. We'll do that there. But where's my boy Corona? My Corona. We're gonna do that, because we might be able to push them again over the edge. A whole bunch of little ships. Man, it would be fun to go to war with that thing. I like the idea that we could just invade uh, the Cylons and eat them very quickly. And to go along with that, I wasn't, no, that's not the right one. Here we go. I was like, hey, it's rich. We can have it make me a whole bunch of money. I have a better idea. We're gonna do this. There we go. We hit the critical amount. Mahu is also ready to become a super research place, which is good. We can offset what we lost elsewhere. The population's close and uh, I don't know. We'll keep it slightly dialed in, I suppose.
Yeah, that's perfect. Kind of curious to how our peeps at Orion are doing. The answer is fantabulous. What a nice place. I'm okay with this planet. What's ridiculous is that, I mean, 29 max population. They have so many people and they're only halfway. It's a great problem to have. Um... We'll try the cloaking device. I think that'd be interesting. We have lots of cannons already. And I suppose, no. Research continues as expected, President. No, no, we need it. We need one. What am I thinking here? I think a cruiser would be a natural fit. We'll have to take off some firepower, which is a crying shame. Not very much, though. Sure. We'll get a Mark II. Good news, everyone. We have a ship with a cloaking device. Yeah, right. What do we do here? All right, we'll send them there and try spying again, because I've learned nothing, and what are they going to do about it? Am I right? Yeah, it'll be okay. I forget what the plan was here, but I'm okay with everything I see. They don't have six because those are Martian scientists and they don't have the bonus that my pure bloods do. The Slytherins are a little bit better at research in this case. Uh, think you're okay. And there was a little bit of ambiguity whether or not we had enough strength up here, so I'm gonna send the deep diver on the nice long trek across the entire galaxy. Even though, I mean, the Darlocks are a fairly legit threat. They're the next most powerful empire. But, uh, oh well, is what I have to say about that. Let's just check one thing here. Okay, we do have antimatter bombs on this thing. It's space is being fairly well used. Okay. Just making sure. I think things have gotten interesting enough, don't you? I think it's time we make things interesting in their own right. All right, good, plus one food. I guess he's not gonna do anything super substantial when he gets at it anyway, but it was a revenue neutral move. Um, let's break a treaty, shall we? We'll take the Corona system. Yeah, they won't treat with me. Huh. Wait for me. All right, I like this. We actually need to vape these quickly.
Look at all those glorious death rays firing away. Boom. I don't know if you noticed how little they accomplished shooting at me. Oh my goodness, the firepower. All right, we'll go a cinematic, I think. Kaboom. I'm feeling pretty confident, although the Stockhausen might be in trouble. All right, they completed their maneuver, so. I have a bad feeling about this guy. There we are. The death ray just cuts through them when it fires. I mean, they might have been old ships, but wow. This senseless barbarism will hurt us no more than our interests, but it will cost you everything in return. I don't know, man. All right, how are we doing up here? Oh, they're getting close. I'm gonna start with that one, actually. Tracks Prime seems like a reasonable place to conduct re- eh, you guys can finish that, I suppose. So they were working on this a long time ago, we'll let them finish it off. Throw them a bone. Also, that's weird that it only went to plus seven food. I think the game might not be calculating that correctly. Oh well, maybe he's secretly uh, still not assimilated or something. And now, the news. The human, oh. Research at a human colony was set back by half thanks to a previously undiscovered computer virus. Yay, I'm in the news, mom. Well, keep up the good work at the capital. Uh, I think we're close enough that we can go into slowpoke mode, as I call it. As everyone calls it. Oh, shoot. Well, I don't know. This is fine. 133 research from one colony is fine. Oh right, we have to liberate that war point. I uh, will get there in a minute. There we go. It received negative damage. I take that as a good sign. Those poor people. You know... Yeah, they have a planetary shield. We gotta start softening it up. Gotta butter it up. 
Also, for uh, safety reasons, we'll actually keep them split for now. I ignored a notification at the top. I hope it's not important. Orion Prime on the verge of degradation. Hmm. Oh, that'll help. There we go. Mischief managed. All right, we can overcome nine Marines. Probably with what we've got there already, to be honest. Gonna do this. Man, our fleet could get a lot bigger. We're gonna have the production colonies to uh, make it happen very soon, though. Alright, I'm gonna end this one. Well, we'll hit next turn. Just one more turn, but I'm gonna totally end this one as soon as that turn happens. And in the next episode, uh, we'll continue carving up the Cylons. See you there, everybody. Ooh. We got a good computer.